We continue to follow the story of a shooting on Madaris Road. Police are now releasing new details in connection to that shooting. That tops your news at 6. I'm Siobhan Bryant. And I'm Greg Screws. Welcome in, everyone. And yesterday, police told us they were having trouble figuring out what happened because witnesses weren't sharing any information. WHT News 19's Ivy Anderson able to find new details today. So, Ivy, what have Huntsville police learned since the shooting yesterday? Greg and Siobhan, the Huntsville Police Department tells us that the two men who were shot at are victims, not suspects. And but they're still not cooperating with the police. As investigators uh, started coming through everything that they had, they realized that uh, the two victims involved were not going to be of much help. Uh, they were not giving helpful or giving conflicting information. However, the Huntsville Police Department does have the names of the victims. 24-year-old Dantuan Cortez Benford and 22-year-old Rodney Lamar Thomas. The shooting happened Monday morning just before 10 o'clock, but police can't determine exactly where on Madaris Road. And Dantuan's sister, Brittany Benford, says she knew the victims wouldn't tell police anything, and it's frustrating to her. It it really is, and that's why we're trying to change all this, because they don't even let kids go their way, because some people, like, they don't, they don't report that, you know what I'm saying, they'll keep it in the street. Lieutenant Johnson says sometimes police have trouble finding the suspects, but typically a witness will talk. To date that I know of, we have not even received an anonymous tip in this situation. So he wants to remind the Huntsville community. If you know anything and want a safer city, you can remain anonymous and you can reach out to us through uh, Crime Stoppers uh, or you can just make a phone call to us and withhold your name. And even though the victims aren't giving information, Johnson says they're not worried and they've got time on their side. Over time, our investigators are very skilled at finding uh, certain ways to put, um, put these offenders behind bars. Huntsville's police department says this investigation is far from over, but they're going to find the shooter. If you have any more information, they say to contact the Huntsville Police Department. Live in Huntsville, Ivy Anderson, WHNT News 19.